Look at these timestamps and fucking click on them if you don't want to see me talk about random bullshit. I put up timestamps, so we're going to click on them. There you go. Bye. Or just alternatively watch the entire fucking video, but bye. Hi, it is me, Sleep the Pride X, and I just want to tell you that there is a questions and answers video going up. <laughs> it's so fucking quirky, not like every fucking YouTuber out there has done it before. Shut up. But yeah, uh, ask me random bullshit. And if you want to ask me even more random bullshit, go to my Instagram. It's just random pictures of me and my friends, so uh, yeah, do that. Secondly, there is currently an art contest going on on my Discord server, so if you want to check it out, uh, do it. You're not going to win any prize, you're just pretty much doing random stuff for me. But I'll appreciate it, because I love you. Next one. Just want to briefly go over this one. It says by the time this video is out, my channel is over 4 years old, meaning that I have been a wanker here since January 2017. Which has been a really long time ago, actually. I made a few seriouses back then, most notably my brilliant fucking a ho that aged like fine wine. But I also had a very short lived Mapper War series, and of course the old a ho WW2 with the very funny Hindu piece sign in it, so of course I cannot get it on YouTube anymore. In short, a lot of shit happened. I became friends with a lot of people, like Moldovan, uh, funny Mexican, and little fathers who, who kind of came and went. I, they were fun people, I had fun, uh, a lot of fun with them, especially in the Skype days, but that's pretty much it. The most notable person that I could pretty much get out from these people is DRM. And from non mapper friends, I have I have a lot of others to thank as well. Most notable ones are Barash, Anglo, Norfolk, and a lot of others as well. But I can only thank these fucking idiots for helping me and being my friends, so... Good for them. This will be the interesting part. Wink wink. The other parts were a bit more rushed or a bit boring since I don't really want to emphasize on them. But this part though is the part that I think you definitely want to stay tuned on. Also point three and point four are going to be combined because well guess what? It's about the same thing. So let's begin. I've seen a lot of speculation as to what happened in the ending, and I want to respond to them, but before that I would like to acknowledge some criticism. First, which I think is the best and most valid one, the pacing. I have a history of making a pretty good plot, but I'm messing up the pacing big time. This happened in all of my modern series, including both Alternative History of Europe and Alternative History of World War II. This is usually due to a time limitation thanks to my schedule which I'm planning on either reworking or implementing something that would make it more feasible. Other critiques that I've seen are as follows. It is unrealistic. Of course it is. It is an alternative history video. It doesn't matter if it's realistic or not. What matters is if it makes sense. And my series did make sense. So that's out of the way. Why didn't the good guys win? If you want to watch the exact same plot over and over, sit down and watch a superhero film. I would also like to touch on the good slash bad guy dilemma. I like to leave things for interpretation. I don't like when the story and perspective of the story is being shoved down your throat. Both the Axis and the Allies did mess up stuff. The moral argument was even included in the dialogue. You decide who was the bad guy and who was the good one. The final part that I want to touch on is the United States theme. I have said a definitive statement on it in the past and I kind of regret it since it takes out a huge potential when it comes to speculation. Now that doesn't make my statement about it false, it just leaves more room for interpretation. So you're free to theorize about the US and their actions. I also want to include this series because I do find it interesting. And even though I have a love-hate relationship with it, I still love it and I love what I've achieved with it. I aim for a more realistic, strategy-driven storyline with some drama sprinkled on it. And besides the pacing, I think I achieved exactly what I wanted. What I oftentimes think about is communist France and their role in the plot. In the series, they manipulate nations so that they would 
get weaker by fighting each other, and he uses this to rise above them in strength and take power. In the dialogue, they smash down on the Germans and the Brits to reveal what they have been doing. And I cannot stop thinking, that what if I left out that and let the viewer figure it out themselves? I don't know if it would have been better, but it keeps me really fucking intrigued. The ending is pretty self-explanatory. If I left something out or missed a point someone made, feel free to message me on Discord or on Twitter or anywhere you would like. As a final comment, Season 3 will be happening. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know what the fuck will happen. The only thing I can guarantee, and I swear my life on this, you will not see me quit mapping before Season 3 is out. And like I've said, I swear on that. This one is going to be a short one. Usually my inactivity is either due to outside circumstances or my own laziness. I'm going to be completely honest here. Of course, things like school, hobbies, fitness, hanging out with friends, both in real life and online, take up quite a fair bit of my time, but I feel like my laziness contributes to it just as much. In the future, I will hopefully have more free time and dedication because making videos and entertaining people is a lot of fun to me. Especially when I see people enjoying what I make, leaving positive feedback, and all that generic bullshit. I feel especially great when people talk about what I've made and theorize about it, so that's cool. Being a mapper, you create stories in a similar way, you write books, and I love the respect of it. Anyways, on to the next BS. So what now? Alternative history World War II has been finished. And I've still yet to make a proper map for alternate history of Europe Season 3. Well, there will be a few things that will come out. Really first and probably foremost, Bad Mappers is back. And it will be back with a bang, baby. That sound like the most fucking unenthusiastic thing I ever said. I don't care, my throat fucking hurts anyway. Recently I got a new web camera. As you could have probably guessed already. Meaning that sometimes, not always, but sometimes... You'll see my weirdest face on your screen. This also means that new types of content will come out, mapping is one and all, and I'll probably continue with it for a while at least, but I also want to step into other territories. You most likely saw the original 5 points of this video and saw the new series right next to, so what now? And I wasn't a lie, I'm planning on a series that is going to let me practice what I'm pretty bad at, pacing and structuring. However, I may First, make a series that is going to bring me back the good old joys of mapping. I've yet to decide which is going to go first and which is going to go after it. But you're going to have to see. The series that is going to be about practicing is going to be the more experimental one. But don't worry, I'll shoot my shot at it. So it's going to be as high quality as possible. Finally, I'm planning on making a few new quick critiques. One in special is going to be a long very long overdue to a person in particular. So also, be prepared to see quick critiques. They'll probably come before the mapping series, but I'm going to have to see. Everything is a mess right now, but these are the three options that you have. Experimental series, uh, the weird series that I have in my mind, or quick critiques. All three are going to be happening just at random times. I don't know which is going to go first and which is going to go last, so now shut up. For now, that has been it. Bye.